Okay, let's take a look at lightening and brightening teeth. There's as many different ways of lightening teeth in Photoshop as there are people using Photoshop, but this is a way that I find works pretty well for me. Uh, the first thing to remember when you're lightening teeth is that people don't actually have white teeth. I often see students making teeth really bright and glistening and shiny, and sometimes they can go a little bit overboard. So let's take a look at using um, a nice non-destructive adjustment layer technique to desaturate them a little bit and do a little bit of lightening on them. I usually use a hue and saturation adjustment layer and first thing to remember is you don't want to make them completely gray. Teeth look kind of ridiculous when they're gray um, just like they look ridiculous when they're too bright. So I'm going to start with a hue and saturation adjustment layer and the first thing I'm going to do is pull the saturation all the way down. Now I know I just said not to make them completely gray but I find this helps me see where I'm doing my masking. I often see people going in they try to make a selection with a pen tool or a, a lasso tool and then they try to feather the selection afterwards. The problem with that I find is you, you're you kind of guessing as to how much to feather it, uh, where the edge is finally going to end up. So by using this technique, using an adjustment layer and a layer mask, you can see exactly where you're doing your masking. Now you'll notice when I created the hue and saturation adjustment layer, there was a layer mask automatically created with it. Right now it's filled with white, it's revealing, so I'm going to invert that layer mask, Command or Control I, to fill that with black. Now you can see that the effect is completely hidden. Now I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'm going to load it up with white paint there. So hit D on the keyboard to get my default colors. X to switch it around to white. And I'll start painting around the outside. Now you can see by using the layer mask, I can see exactly where the edge of my desaturating effect is. So I want to make sure you don't go over top of the lips. Just go around the outside of the teeth. And you notice I'm not trying to go around and fill in the entire area right now. I'm just going around the outside. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to go to my layer mask afterwards and fill in the center area. So I'm running around the outside, making sure that the softness of my brush matches the softness of the transition between the teeth and the lips. Once I get around, I'm going to take a look at my layer mask. I can do that by Option or Alt clicking right on my layer mask there. And I could go through and fill this in, fill this in, do a whole bunch of work doing that. But an easier way, and a way that works whatever you're cutting out, whether you're changing the color of something, desaturating, changing the brightness, uh, is to use the magic wand. This is one of the few times in Photoshop I recommend using the magic wand tool and selecting the inner part in here. Now, you'll notice that if I fill with white right now, I'm going to get this nasty fringe around the outside there. So to avoid that, I'm going to take this selection and I'm going to expand it outwards into this middle of the white part here. So I'm going to go under Select, Modify, and I'm going to expand that selection. Now there's a bit of trial and error as to how much to guess, and I'm guessing here it looks like about four pixels or so. If I'd used a softer brush, maybe, or a larger brush, I might have a larger expansion. So I'm just going to guess at five, hit OK, and that was a pretty good guess. A little bit too far, but it's okay as long as it's not cutting into the gray on the other side or letting some of this fringe show through. Now I'm just going to choose Edit, Fill with White, hit OK. So if I had filled with white while that selection was still smaller, that fringe would have been left behind. So now I can deselect, Option click on my layer mask, you can see I missed a little part in the corner there. Sometimes when you use that technique, if there's little kind of V-shaped sections, like around in there, once you fill it, it didn't get included in the selection. So I'll just paint over that with white. And there's the teeth, completely desaturated and looking pretty darn ridiculous. Now, because we used an adjustment layer, I can double click on this hue and saturation adjustment layer and ease that saturation back into the teeth until they look a little bit more normal. There's before and there's after, so that takes some of the color out of it a bit. Now I also want to lighten them up a little bit. There's a lightness slider here, but this is one of the tools that fits into the evil category. And I'll show you why. Um, let's say I wanted to lighten the image. If I just use the lightness slider on hue and saturation, you notice it just kind of puts a white film over top of the image without actually doing a proper job of lightening it like levels or curves would. Same thing if I try to darken it just kind of puts a gray film. It's like putting a black layer over and reducing its opacity. You just kind of see this grayish film. So the lightness slider in hue and saturation is officially evil. We won't use that. What I'm going to use is a new levels adjustment layer. So for my adjustment layers, I'm going to grab levels 
and I'll use this to brighten up the teeth a bit. Now you'll notice it's affecting everything because there's no layer mask applied. There's just that white reveal all. I spent all that time making that layer mask over here on my hue and saturation. I don't want to go through all that again on my levels, so I'm just going to reuse this layer mask. So I want to take this layer mask and copy it onto my levels there. I'm going to hold down Command and Option. I'm going to grab this layer mask, drag it over top, and it'll ask, do you want to replace the layer mask, the layer mask on the levels one? And I say, yes. So it copies that layer mask over. So now I have the same layer mask on my levels. There's before and there's after. If I want to adjust it some more, double click, and I can lighten into ridiculous territory or darken it down into really gross territory. So that's using the level slider there. Now I can combine these. There's before, there's after. I can still ease around my saturation. I can still adjust my brightness until I get it where I want. Now what you might notice is that in the corners, sometimes it gets a little bit over lightened and maybe a little bit over desaturated. If we look at the layer mask, you can see that it's having the full intensity along the front teeth all the way up to the back teeth there. If you find that it's too bright and too desaturated in the back teeth, we can take advantage of this layer mask here. Darkening this corner a bit would hide the effect of the desaturation. So I'm going to take my paintbrush here. I'm going to take a fairly large brush. I want to use that nice soft edge of the brush. So I've got the hardness set all the way down to zero there. Some black paint. I'm just going to hide the desaturating effect along the edge there. Notice I didn't put the center right in. I kind of let the soft edge of that brush, that feathered edge, brush over the edge there. A little bit on that side over there too, just to bring back that desaturation. And you can see what it's doing is it's darkening around here, hiding the desaturating effect. And same thing on the levels. If I find that it's too bright in the corners of the mouth there, go to my levels and again, hide that lightening effect. So there's before and there's after. So the teeth are a little bit brighter, a little bit whiter, and the corners of the mouth, the corners of the teeth there aren't getting it as intensely, so it looks a little bit more natural. Again, there's as many ways to lighten teeth as there are people using Photoshop, but this is a technique that I've been using for years and I find it works pretty well for me. And because it's non-destructive, if you realize afterwards that, geez, maybe I did overdo it a bit, you can just go right back to your hue and saturation and bring some of that saturation back. Or take it down if the client wants it a little bit further. There you go, lightening teeth.